Ziggy, come on. Coney Juggle, there you go. Are you bored with juggling like Ziggy? Maybe it's time to make it more interesting. What do you think, Ziggy? You wanna learn some new tricks? Hello and welcome to Advanced Three Ball Juggling with Chelsea. This juggling program is for anybody who's already mastered regular three ball juggling and you want to move on to something a little more interesting. Spice up your juggling practice. Before we get started, I want to say thank you to the Pioneer Library System for making this program possible. This is a health literacy project brought to you by the Oklahoma Department of Libraries with a federal grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. Yay! In this video, I'm going to teach you a couple of ways that you can make your three ball juggling more interesting. Now you might have this down and you might be thinking, what now? But before you try to move on to four balls, let me show you some really cool things that you can do with three. This pattern is called cascade or regular cascade. And there is a reverse. This is reverse cascade. See the difference? In the regular cascade, I'm doing some underhanded throws to the inside of the pattern. Reverse cascade is overhanded throws on the outside of the pattern. And just the way that you learned regular cascade, we're gonna break it down by starting with one ball. So instead of throwing this underhanded throw to the inside of the pattern, your reverse cascade is gonna be throwing overhanded. Think about throwing on the outside of the pattern or throwing over instead of under. This looks a little bit more like the juggling emoji than actual regular juggling does. Once you've practiced with one, it's time to move on to two. And if you remember from regular juggling how you learned throw, throw, catch, catch, well, that's what we're gonna do again. Except instead of throwing each of the balls underhanded, you're gonna throw one underhanded and throw the other one over. It looks like this. Over. Over. You want to practice starting with your left hand and starting with your right hand. Starting with my left hand, I'm going to do an underhanded throw with my left hand and then an overhanded throw with my right hand. It looks like this. I'm still changing hands with each of the balls. So if you'll notice, the orange ball is going to go from my left hand to my right hand and the yellow ball will go from my right hand to my left hand. Just like that. You also want to practice starting with your right hand, which looks like this. You can even practice alternating like this. See how the yellow one is always going over the orange one? If you get really good at doing that with two balls, You'll be able to do some interesting patterns with three balls. Before you get all the way to reverse cascade with your three balls, you can mix up the types of throws that you're doing to create some different patterns. Let me show you what I mean. Here's your regular cascade and I'm just going to do an outside throw with the yellow ball one time. And right back into cascade. And of course, once you've tried it with your right hand, you're going to try it with your left hand. I think it helps to have three different colors so that you can pick one of the colors and practice doing an outside throw with just that ball. 
That helps me to focus. Once you've got it down with your right and left hand, you can try doing it back and forth. I'm gonna do the yellow ball again, and I'm going to do an outside throw every time with the yellow ball. And that looks like this. pattern is called tennis because it looks like a tennis ball going back and forth over the top. And back into regular cascade. Once you've got plenty of practice with those outside throws with both your left hand and your right hand, you can start to practice mixing them up. Maybe you do an outside throw every time with your right hand. This is called half shower. Everything you practice with your right hand, you should also practice with your left hand. There it is. And I can do all those cool new patterns now just because I learned how to do this outside throw. And of course, reverse cascade is just doing all outside throws. And it looks like this. forget when you're learning a new thing you're probably going to mess up a lot and that's okay I still drop the ball and I've been juggling for a long time if you're okay with dropping it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again then you could get really good at it I hope y'all are having lots of fun learning new stuff this summer don't forget you can count our time together today as an activity for the summer learning challenge on the pioneer library system website this Health Literacy Project is brought to you by the Oklahoma Department of Libraries with a federal grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. And if you liked today's video, be sure to fill out the survey linked in the video description. Thanks for watching! See you next time!